Welcome to Module 2, Asthma Medicines. In this module, you will learn the two types of inhaled asthma medicines, controller and rescue or reliever medicines. We'll also cover the importance of taking medicines as prescribed and ways to talk to your provider about your asthma medicines. There are two different types of inhaled medicines that are used to manage asthma. One type is called controller medicine and the other type is rescue medicine. Controller medicines are typically taken every day like vitamins to control asthma and to prevent asthma attacks. In some cases, they are prescribed to be used at the first sign of a cold, a decision you should make along with your provider. These medicines help keep the inside of the smaller air tubes in your lungs open and free of swelling or inflammation. These medicines act slowly. It can take days or weeks after you start taking them for them to begin working. Because they don't work quickly, they should not be used when you need quick relief of asthma symptoms such as coughing, wheezing, when breathing is hard, or when your chest feels tight. Some common controller medicines include Flovent, Qvar, Asthmacort, Pulmicort, and the inhalers that combine controller and long-acting reliever medicines, Advair and Simbicort. Singular is an oral controller medicine that is taken once a day. Your health care provider will decide which controller will likely work best for you. Rescue medicines are used when you need quick relief of asthma symptoms or to treat an asthma attack. They start working in a few minutes, but their effects don't last long, usually wearing off in four to six hours. Most rescue medicines work by relaxing the muscles around the outside of the air tubes, so the tubes widen and breathing gets easier quickly. Some people only need rescue medicines to manage their asthma. Other people need to use both rescue and controller medicines to keep their asthma in control. Albuterol is the main inhaled rescue medicine in the United States and comes with three different trade names. Proair, Ventolin, and Proventil are all the same medicine, Albuterol. Other inhaled rescue medicines are Atrovent and Zopinex. Albuterol also comes in a form used by a nebulizer, a machine that makes mist from liquid medicine that is breathed through a mouthpiece or mask. Prednisone is also used as an oral rescue medicine when bad asthma attacks occur. There is an update to the National Asthma Guideline that came out in late 2020 and includes some changes that your provider should know about. People with asthma, even those who don't use a daily controller medicine, should take a controller medicine as well as their normal rescue medication at the first sign of a cold. People who take a daily controller medicine should not increase their dose or number of daily puffs at the first sign of a cold. People with more severe uncontrolled asthma should talk to their provider about possibly trying SMART therapy. This is a combination inhaler that includes an inhaled corticosteroid with a certain bronchodilator called Formoterol. This works quickly like albuterol, which is the rescue medicine or bronchodilator typically used in the United States. This combination inhaler is used twice daily as the controller medicine, but also is used as a rescue medicine instead of albuterol, so there is only one inhaler to use. Medicines work best when taken as prescribed. If they are not taken at the right time and at the right dose, there is a good chance they will not work. It's important for you or your child to take asthma medicine as prescribed to get the most benefits. It's important to share any issues you have related to taking your medicines as prescribed. Your community health worker or providers can help you come up with solutions. For example, if you often forget to take daily controller medicine, having it out in an obvious location and putting a reminder on your phone or calendar might help. Good control of asthma means no symptoms and no limitations on activity. 
Taking medicines as prescribed is a major factor in successfully controlling asthma. This approach gives you control rather than asthma controlling you. It can be helpful for children with asthma to involve other caretakers in making sure that they are taking medications, including extended family, the school, and child care providers. To keep you or your child's asthma in good control, it's important to know how you are feeling and be empowered to share with your provider any issues you have. Bring questions you want to ask to your visit. Share if you don't understand how to use your medications or asthma action plan. Ask if the medicines you're being prescribed are on your health insurance formulary so they will be covered, or if the provider can pick a different one that is. Share details about your symptoms. For example, how do you feel in the mornings when you wake up? Do you have asthma symptoms then? What about other times of day or situations such as exercise? Be prepared to tell your story. How many times in a regular week or month do you have these symptoms? Your provider wants to help you, and good information from you helps them make good decisions. That way you or your child can feel your best and have your asthma under control. If you're having a problem accessing care, tell your community health worker or other providers. They may have some additional ideas or resources that can help you. You can also contact your health plan with questions. The key points from this module are Controller medicines are usually taken every day to control asthma and prevent asthma attacks. In some cases, they may be prescribed to use at the first sign of a cold or during certain times of year. Reliever rescue medications are used for quick relief of symptoms or during an asthma attack. Taking medicines as prescribed is a major factor in successfully controlling asthma. Talk to your provider about any issues you're having with your asthma or asthma medicines.